you're ready to get wheels back on your vehicle, it's really important that you get the lug nuts torqued just right. And an impact wrench is an okay tool for this if you've got an extra component to go with your impact wrench. I'm gonna talk about that in a second. So just regarding torque, what we could do is get this on the ground so that that wheel is back on the concrete, use a torque wrench in order to make sure we've got each of those lugs tightened the right amount and a consistent amount. That's really important that every one of those lugs is tightened the same. With the impact wrench, what we want to do is add this torque extension to this. So this is pretty cool. Give us the lowdown here, Brent, what's about to happen. Well, what, what this does, there's, this is the whole kit right here, and it goes from 55 pounds of torque to 140 pounds of torque, and it's all determined on the, the diameter of the shaft itself. So what happens is, when you pull the trigger on the impact hammer, it keeps, it keeps hitting that thing, and it flexes just a little bit at this one in particular is 100 pounds of torque. So you can't over tighten the wheels, but you'll get it up to that 100 pounds of torque. So these being color coded in different sizes, each one applies a different amount of torque. Right. You have to use these with an impact wrench. This is not a ratchet thing. It, it doesn't, doesn't take the place of this. No. It doesn't take the place of this. It's got to go with an impact wrench. Um, so go ahead and give us the lowdown. Okay, so then we, same, same as always, you know, you want to do a cross pattern and you want to snug it a little bit. Snug it a little bit for. So you make sure the wheel's on straight and seated against the, the... And then once you get to that point, now we can... Now you can see... It's only gonna go to that point. At this point, you can just give her until it hammers. Until it goes, yep. And then at that point, you can't exceed 100 pounds. Right. So now we know all these are torqued to exactly 100 foot-pounds. And, and really, if you're not using these, you should not be using an impact wrench to put your tires back on. You can bust the lugs off by getting too much torque on them. You can also get an inconsistent tightening pattern on the lugs themselves. So um, good addition to the shop, good useful tool yep. to have.